At my induction to St. Andrews five years ago, I quoted from an E.E. E. Cummings poem, which is so apt for today. I thank you, God, for this most amazing day and for everything which is natural, which is infinite, which is yes. This is a yes moment in time. On the 3rd of August, 2022, in our 120th anniversary year, we are saying yes to our new house names. We are all here as witness to this moment and the making of history. We welcome you all from our stakeholder groups represented here, both on site and those watching on live stream. We welcome the members of our board and trust, our alumni reps, our heads of our four schools, our management and staff teams, our parents and parents representatives, our student and student representatives, and all those who are friends of St. Andrews watching or being here today. This moment has taken two years of work and reflection to arrive here and now. I feel so proud of this milestone and without further ado, I hand over to our Head of Transformation, Sheila Muchauraya. A very good morning to you all and a warm, warm welcome again to you. I'm reminded of a participant who said in our very first engagement, surely it can't take more than two sessions to get these names. And now here we are eight months later from that very first time we got together and we are finally at the end of that journey. And so I'm just going to give a very brief process of when I got involved in the process. We, it was very important for us as a school that we invite all our community holders or stakeholders rather and that they were part of this process and part of this journey. And so we sent out an invitation to our parents, to our alumni, to our students, to anybody who was welcome and wanted to be part of this process. And so <laughs> our process began. At our very first engagement, we unpacked the reason why it was important that we had to relook at these names. Mrs. Fenton Murray was really awesome and put together some historical facts, and we were able to unpack the value of what it was then and how the value now of what we needed in our school had definitely changed. From there, we sent our members back to the community, and they had to try and figure out a criteria of what then that theme would look like. So a month later, we met again, and we were able to unpack what that criteria needed to look like. It was a lovely two hours of engagement, back and forth, but really awesome to get the input from our student body. After that engagement, we went back again to our community to say, we now have the criteria. Can we now please propose certain themes that would need to ensure that we are fulfilling that criteria? So off we went again with more homework to be done. And in our last engagement, we're able to then bring in those themes and we're using our criteria, eliminate the ones that would not be suitable to us. It was a very long process, but at the very, very end, we were able to tie down two themes that kept coming up over and over again. And from there, we then asked our heads of houses 2022, unfortunately to use their holiday time whilst they were still trying to learn for their prelims, to go back and then come up with actual names that would fit those two themes. They were absolutely incredible, and we are very, very grateful for that time. And so when the management team then met for the very last time, we were able to either have a look and see with the help of our staff members who were also involved to ensure that those names that were selected were inclusive for our community. 
A very, very special thank you must go to Alison Orpen and to Gina Robb, who were incredible in ensuring that every word and the different themes and names that came up were inclusive for us all. And we are truly, truly grateful for that. And so I'm in awe. I am so privileged to have been part of this process as a newbie as I was. And so I really, really thank you for all of those who made this journey so much more or less difficult for us all. So I'd now like to invite the heads of houses from the senior school, as well as the junior school, to come to, uh, forward, please, if they can just join me um, up here where the balloons are. And we're going to start off in alphabetical order. So we'll do the blue house, and then we'll do the green house, and then the red house, and then last but not least, the yellow house. So if I can have the students, please come and join me. I am going to invite the junior student to be the one who does the popping of their respective color balloon. Oh, by the way, I hope you can see I'm wearing my, my colors and my blue. Just in case um, you don't know what I do at the school, it's all about inclusivity. So if I can ask, we're going to start off with the blue balloon. So my junior student, if you can then please, Miss Jeffrey has got the needle for you to pop the balloon. And our senior school student will then do the revealing of the name. You will have the honor of announcing. <laughs> so the Blue House's new name is Marula. <laughs> Next up, we have the greenhouse. Okay, the greenhouse, the new greenhouse name is Acacia. Next up, we have the red house. <laughs> oh, we know it already. Okay, so red house's new name is Karee. And last but not least, the yellow house. The sound is not on, eh? Woo! <laughs> Woo! Nice and loud because it's not working. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> I'll just put it here. Okay, so the new yellow house name is Bearbab. Woo! <laughs> A very big thank you to all. I'd like to now invite Rev T. Thank you, Mrs. Mosharaya. Do you need it for the Facebook? Okay. Our speaker over here isn't working, but the the live feed does need the this. So this is a moment to celebrate, and so I'd like to call us all to pray together. Let us give thanks and bring praise to God of all creation. Trees represent life. They symbolize growth and sustainability. Today, we give thanks for our community. We commit ourselves to the unfolding of all the promise that we find in our new names, Acacia, Baobab, Kari, and Marula. As we celebrate this occasion, Lord God, we pray that our loyalty and passion will be steadfast. We pray that each identity will continue to grow and flourish. May each student reach their full potential, assured of their value and worth. May our roots sink deep into the earth, secure in our belonging and connection. May each house be a haven and a home for its members. May we stand tall and proud, and may the air echo with sounds of rejoicing. We pray this in your holy name, the name that brings us life. Amen. Now it's time for the war cry. <laughs> What's the best way to? 
talking we need to Wonderful. And so we invite all of the students present to please take a cupcake. The eats for the adults are on that side. I think the icing might be a bit much for us this early in the morning, but not for you. Please enjoy and thank you, everybody.